on the one hand, it feels good. On the other hand, you're teaching your kids that you can destroy people's property if you're not happy with them. Did he just punch his leg, his own leg, and then his face? He slapped his face? Welcome to Therapist Reacts Raw, where I react to videos that my producers throw at me. I have no idea what I'm reacting to. You're getting the real stuff right here right now. Okay, we'll see how much of this is abusive and how much of this is uh, healthy parenting. So let's buckle up. <laughs> There's no feeling more satisfying than seeing spoiled kids get exactly what they deserve. I've got a kid who has like life karma where we don't even have to own him. Like he'll throw a tantrum and he'll get angry and then he'll throw a rubber ball, like scream and throw a rubber ball against the wall and then it'll hit him in the nose and then he'll cry and we'll be like, I don't know what to tell you, man. But uh, this is where the parents own them back, so let's see what happens. This first dad was sick of his daughter posting things about him on Facebook, so he destroys his daughter's laptop. He looks like I'm a guy who would shoot a laptop. It's not my responsibility to clean up your s***. <laughs> and I love the, the, this part. You could just pay me for all the s*** that I do around the house. Seriously? Are you kidding me? Pay you for chores? Are you out of your mind? Uh this right here yeah. is my 40. I mean, as long as he paid for that laptop, I think this he has every right to destroy it. So she throws her phone in the family pool. I'm so sick of this shit. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. You and this freaking phone all the time. Give me it. What are you doing? Give me it now. Stop. No, no, that's it. I, I had enough. I had enough. What are you doing? On the one hand, it feels good. On the other hand, you're teaching your kids that you can destroy people's property if you're not happy with them. The I have to text people back. Why? Because Whoa, I have that, to. No, that's it, no. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> Stop filming! I love that the daughter just, my baby! Just like immediately jumps in the water after the boat. This next father gets sick of his son being spoiled, so he fakes that there's something exciting behind the front door, and when his son goes to check, he gets locked out. Because I love you, mm -hmm. and I really, really love you. Yeah? I have a serious surprise for you. No, this isn't cool. This is just teaching your kids that they can't trust you. Like if you need to give out a consequence, then just be straight up about it. But this is just delighting in getting your hit kid all hyped up and then hurt, making them. You always tell me, don't tell me what to do. Your surprise is freedom. Yeah. What? No? What do you mean by freedom? Freedom means get the hell out of my house and go have your freedom. Don't come back. This next dad breaks this guy's Xbox games as he is sick of him lying around the house jobless. You're insane! Why are you doing what are you doing? Mow him over? You don't want to mow him over. That way you get out of your room for a little while. Maybe you get a job. You've been out of school three months now. Amy, it's going to be my job! Never going to quit playing! He's having it! Is that real? Are those real reactions? That is real spoiled. Son. Who was always playing Fortnite. The mother takes the son's PS4 and throws it out the window. No. Give me a bag! I want the other Give thing. me a bag, please! I mean, this could be remedied, generally speaking, by you lock up the, for the, the console. I have your surprise right here. Surprise? And they have like a half an hour a day or an hour a day if they finish their homework or something like that. Like you don't need to go to this extreme. Please! Oh my god, please don't do it! Please. What? What is she don't doing? Do it. What? <laughs> Helen! Why are we filming this and posting this online though? Like are we delighting in the children's misery? This next mother takes her son's laptop out of his hands. I'm not saying the kids are right, but. No. Now, five minutes. Now. now. No, doesn't he need that for school? This next dad breaks. What if he locked her out? After he comes home and he's like, he freedom, mom. All day. Damn, yeah, George, you're being ungrateful as hell. They were already done. They were already done. I all you gotta do is some simple few but chores. I don't want to. You're on the damn phone all the damn time. That's why you're getting okay. in trouble. What? You <laughs> need to get up. Oh. There's... You want a text from the damn phone? Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Text? No, no, no! Stop! You want a text? Stop! Oh my God, that's my phone! I don't care! Well, you're paying. Look what you did to my phone! Who do you think bought it in the first place? Okay, like, 
I thought this would be more fun than it would be. This is actually, the parents are responding to childish behavior with childish behavior. And they're throwing tantrums that are equally embarrassing, trying to make a point. The point is what? That I'm the parent and you will do what I say? That's not parenting. Your role as a parent is not to be the authority that the child has to obey. Your role as a parent is to teach your children that choices have consequences. So instead of give me the phone or I'm gonna destroy it or I'm, t I'm so sick of you doing this so I'm throwing it in the pool or I'm smashing it with a hammer or I'm throwing it out a window, the solution is, hey, so this is a privilege. Like what you have a right to from me is to not starve, to not go naked, to have a place to sleep. That's what I'm required to give you by the state, right? And just by good ethics and good morals. You don't have the right to an Xbox. You don't have the right to a phone. You don't have the right to a laptop. Those things are privileges. And privileges are tied to responsibilities. So here's how this is going to work. If you do X, Y, Z, then you get a phone. If you fail to do X, Y, Z, the phone is confiscated. If you, if you do X, Y, Z, you have an hour of Xbox time an evening, right? That, that sort of thing. Instead, they're just saying, get off, no, get off, no, get off, no. You're not obeying me, all hell's gonna break loose. And what you're teaching your kids is power struggle. Who has power and who doesn't? Who has control and who doesn't? And later on, these kids are gonna be seeking to be the ones with power and control in their relationships. So, I mean, I get it. I get the anger. I get the frustration of kids doing this. I have five children, I know. But this, this, this is, it's not helping. It's like the old adage, if you hit me, you teach me to hit. If you teach me to destroy things when I feel disrespected, I'm gonna go to jail for property destruction in a few years. And when I say, where did you learn to do this? I'm gonna say, from you, all right? I learned it from watching you. Dad's wearing a Spider-Man shirt. Dad, with great power comes great responsibility. Don't, come on, man. Don't be cussing out your kid. His next dad throws his teenager's PS4 out the window after the kid back talks his father. Xbox? What are you on the Xbox for? Larry, get out. Look, Larry. There's, no, there's nothing to do. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! My Xbox! Oh. That's how people respond when actual children die, you know? Like, that's like, that's like my child fell out the window. I get it, there's an attachment there. Look, I'm still a person, I get it. There is a certain vigilante justice satisfaction in watching all this. I get why these are viral. But you're not asking me if I think this is entertaining. Oh, you are? Yeah, no, this is entertaining as hell. I, there, there's a certain guilty pleasure factor to all of this. But the flip side of it is this is not great parenting and I do worry about these relationships moving forward. Because we online see a video, we laugh, we move on. There's real trust being broken here. There's real relationships that are gonna have a hard time coming back from this. This father makes his daughter apologize to a cashier and the whole shop as she stole some items. This is the lame dollars. Go to the lame dollars, money in your pocket, you still steal it. You don't want to tell her what you did. Tell her what you did. Open your mouth. Tell her what you did. Sure. Show her what you did. As sad and painful as this one is to watch, I don't think this is bad. Until you come I, I, I have done something similar right. with one of my kids. Yeah, I got police in the back. Because I want them to learn to uh, be accountable and what to be accountable to, to the people that you hurt. And it is uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it is embarrassing. It also teaches an important lesson. And you won't do what no more? I can't hear you. The only thing I would say is that after that, you need to follow up with what's called an increase of love. Your kid needs to know that though the behavior wasn't appropriate, you're proud of them for taking ownership and that you love them and that you care about their future and who they grow up to be and that that's why that happened. So if you're going to go hard like that, which sometimes you do as a parent, you also need to balance it. Like never go harder than you're willing to provide comfort and love afterwards. Because if you can't bind up the wounds, then you have no right inflicting them. And that's not, I don't mean physical wounds. Sometimes when you have to be sharp with your kids, it hurts, it hurts emotionally. And that isn't always a bad thing and it isn't always abusive, but it does need to be followed up by an increase in love. Oh my God, you deleted it! What is your problem? Yeah, that door's coming off! I'm sorry, you didn't mean to. 
<laughs> Listen, we all have hobbies. I, I, I've, I've responded to the parents and what I think good parenting is. Now I'm, I'm reaching out to you, the youth. If you are reacting over an object the way you would over a human being, being thrown out a window or dropped into a pool or run over with a car, it's time to reprioritize your life. You will be happier. If you haven't experienced life enough that that is your reaction to an Xbox being thrown into a pool, you need some acquaintance with real problems. And for some of you are like, I have had real problems. That's why the Xbox is my escape. I get it. Live a life, live a full life, be responsible. Not all parents handle things the best way. Not all parents are fair and reasonable, but the fact is if you're living under someone's roof, you can do some chores. You can interact with the people that you live with. It's not too much to ask. If you enjoyed this video, check out my reaction to parents who regret having children, which seems apropos seeing some of the children's behavior in these videos. My goodness. What do you do if you feel like you should never have been a parent? How do you handle that? Here's my thoughts. What do you think about these videos? Uh, are they fun? Are they great entertainment? Do these kids get exactly what they deserve? Is this exploitation? Is this hurtful? Is this harmful? Is this good parenting? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? I wanna know in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe, click the bell, pass this along to your friends, and let me know what you would like me to react and respond to. And keep shining because we need your light. I'm Jonathan Decker signing off. And here's that video I was telling you about. You're gonna wanna check that out right now. Right? Now. Come on! Oh, check the video, please don't die!